Welcome to Global Defense Insight, where technology meets strategy. Today, we take a closer look at one of the most pivotal missile programs in South Asia, Pakistan's Hacker Missile Series. Developed under the broader strategic umbrella of Pakistan's deterrence doctrine, the HAC family spans a range of short, medium, and long-range missile systems, reflecting decades of indigenous innovation, regional security priorities, and evolving strategic goals. Let's unpack the HAC missile program, its origins, its variants, and the battlefield impact each missile brings to the table. The term HAC is derived from Arabic, meaning deadly weapon or aim for The name sets the tone for what these missiles represent, swift, decisive, and capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear vehicles. The HAC missile family is not a single missile, but rather a series of ballistic and cruise missiles, which designate designed for quick tactical strikes, and suitable for engaging enemy formations or installations near the border. Hat 3, Ghaznavi. Now we're entering strategic territory. Hat 3, also known as Ghaznavi, is a short-range ballistic missile, SRBM, with a range of 290 to 320 kilometers. It is nuclear capable and features solid fuel propulsion, which allows it to be launched quickly from transporter irregular launchers. It's also equipped with inertial guidance and a CEP, a circular error problem, estimated around 150 meters, suitable for cargo vertical infrastructure. Act 4, Shekinai. Shekinai is a medium-range ballistic missile with a range of around 750 kilometers. It's road loaded, solid fuel, and highly maneuverable. Shekinai is designed for precision strikes and with advanced guidance systems. This missile is capable of carrying nuclear warheads and can reach deep into Indian territory with the wire. Unlike most other hack missiles, Gaudi uses longer fuel, which means it requires longer preparation time and has a longer range, approximately 1,300 kilometers. It was developed to help the North Korean Wadon technology and games. Pakistan extended strike capability into Central India. Gallery can carry a nuclear warhead weighing up to 700 kilograms and is considered part of Pakistan's strategic second strike assets. Act 6, Shaheen 2. A major movement of the ability, Shaheen 2 is a two-stage, solid fuel medium-range missile with a range of 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers. It is both global and designed for high accuracy with an advanced inertial navigation system and potential training guidance. Shaheen 2 expands Pakistan's deterrence posture, allowing it to target strategic assets throughout India, and potentially even parts of the Middle East if needed. Hat 7, Babur Cruise Missile. Diverging from ballistic profiles, Babur is a subsonic cruise missile with a range of around 700 kilometers. It can be launched from land, sea, and submarine platforms. It flies at low altitudes, using terrain cover technology to evade radar. It's also nuclear capable and equipped with modern guidance systems, including GPS and terrain contour matching. Its stealth and maneuverability make it especially hard to intercept. Act 9, NASA. A tactical nuclear capable missile with a short range of around 70 kilometers, designed to counter India's Cold Start doctrine. NASA is highly mobile, road based, and designed for battlefield level 
also as a political and psychological tool. It sends a message that Pakistan has the reach, readiness, and resilience to respond to aggression at every level, from conventional skirmishes to strategic nuclear threats. In conclusion, the HAP missile program is not just about range and payload, it's about doctrine, readiness, and survival. It has matured into a versatile, multi-layered missile force that underpins Pakistan's national defense strategy. Thanks for watching Global Defense Insight. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below.